<coughs> Minisan Konishishwa. We are. Oh, what is this? I got a cut on my wrist. Um, we are back at it again with Sabal and Samoon. That is my the name of my uh my bike. So we climbed up here a little bit last time, and I just wanted to see what this stuff in here is all about. It's so pretty. Oh, it's a little doorway. <gasps> oh, it's you. And little chum eggs. Wonder what they're for. Must be a good place to deliver these. But what do they do? Are they, you just sell them for, for money? I forgot what the money's called. Yeah, I want to see what this is about. What are you, buddy? Nothing? Alright, let's see what's at the top then. How in the hell am I going to do this? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and climb over onto this bridge. Okay, cool. We're gonna climb up on that one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, we did it, we did it. Okay. Oh, what is this over here? What the hell? What the fuck am I, what did I pick up? Get yeeted. All right. Oh God. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Anyways. Oh man, the camera. Uh, okay. I'm gonna jump on here. Goodbye bird. And then we're gonna jump on here. I love how her hands overlapped on the on the vine, or whatever it's called. Okay, apparently there's nothing up here other than that thing I yeeted that was fucking farting in my face. I don't know what it could be for, but let's find out. Oh, what are you? Do I put it in there? Do I put it in one of these things over here? I put it in you. I don't know what to do with you, buddy. Shoo, birds. Oh, wow. That's a big thing. I don't want to sit here too long, though. Is that a beetle? Oh, you're most definitely a beetle. Oh, wow, I'm fucking Spider-Man. Holy shit, I'm Spider-Man. No fucking way. Oh my god, I'm Spider-Man. Holy shit. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure there's something special in there that I just can't reach now. I probably don't have what I need for it. Is there one guarding this way? Oh, there's not. Let's see. Oh, I love how things smoothed out, I get, I think is the word I want to use. Oh, weird. What is all of this? There's an old worn-out notepad by the tent. Read it. After all my journeying, my path inside the nest is blocked my path inside the nest is block blocked the hercules beetle she blocks the way and refuses to move i continue flicking through scrawl of notes i am at a wits at my wits and the creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move i have tried attacking the beast but its shell is hard as metal and does not even acknowledge me there are further notes there is an unusual plant that has overgrown the tower across the nest i plan to investigate the smaller beetles seem attracted to the plant <gasps> 
I found a scroll in the notebook. The climb was extremely troubling. If I had only, if I had only got gliding stones, though. Nevertheless, I made it. I struggled so much. Holding the fruit that grow on the giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around as, as I do so. I will test my theory with the mother. The notes end. Okay, cool. So it does have a use. Alright, I was about to leave this place, but I guess we're not anymore. Alright, get not softens. I don't I forgot what word I used. Or smooths. This is smooth. It gets rid of the sharpening. So I guess technically it does smooth it out. Okay, well not this way. I love the fucking music. It's so nice. Oh, yes. What is in here? Hey, no, 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 no. What's in here? Alright, this is where I was at before. God damn it. Oh, man, the camera. That's probably my only issue with the game so far. The fucking camera. And a bit of the climbing. The climbing is a little finicky at times, but it's not super, super bad. Let's go, weird thing. Let's eat it at his fucking face. Oh, she loves it. So I'm going to take it and throw it all the way out there. She won't go if she sees me. Oh god. That's kind of scary looking. What is up with all this in here? She better not be coming in here. To come and get me. I will cry. I will scream. It's like mist, fog. No clue. Oh, well, you know, things died in here. Big giant things. A lot of big things died in here. Excuse me? To dare bubble in my presence. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna climb up top. I don't like all the sizzling and bubbling that is happening. Oh. Hercules beetle larvae husk. My mic stand is slightly in the way, but that is okay. Is that all there was here? Oh, nope, it goes up. Oh shit. Someone fucking lived in here. Don't know how. Another one. Hey, 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 hey. hey. That was a hole up there. Oh, a chest. Oh my god, this thing goes up high. Orange winged beetles. Interesting. Wonder what that's for. Ah, oh, shit. Now to the top. I do kind of want to see what's at the bottom, but I guess I could always see that later. That plane doesn't seem to be going away. Oh, I, I, I love the little, whatever this is, mist fog. Have a see-through, but it like gets rid of color when you're looking through them. I think that's such a cool little aspect. Oh my god. 
Wow. He's a tree, right? Cool. Oh man, oh man. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I can. What are you? Oh, you're nothing. I thought you were something to pick up. You're definitely something to pick up, though. My little chum egg. Let us go on an adventure. I was going to say a bigger word, but my brain does not know bigger words right now. Damn, that was a long ass tunnel. My god, the wind. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Don't know how my cape is going through my body, but I won't complain. Where should we even go? Because I didn't even get. You guys didn't get to see the map last time. The map is fucking massive. That's where I was last time. That's a Bexy. Or a Bex camp. This is little. This little area. And this map is massive. Oh my god, it's massive. Whew. Alright, I don't know where to really go go so we're just gonna go in a direction i hope we find something cool at least a little point of interest something that will draw my attention Hopefully I'm not going back to Bex camp. Does not look like that though. But it also does look like I'm going back to Bex camp. Where am I at? I'm over here. Okay, yeah, I technically am. So then let's go this direction. Hey, I see something over there. Unless it's just mountains. No, it's not. On the horizon. You see it? What is that dust? It's right there. It's a tower on a mountain. Let's go! The lighting is so unique in this game. And it's so nice to look at. It's such a calming game. I was going to say calming mood, but... That doesn't really make sense. What is that over there? That looks like a Bex camp. Oh, what is that? Okay, maybe that wasn't a Bex camp on my right. No, it was definitely a Bex camp. That on my left definitely is not, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there's like giant ass bones there, too. It's interesting. <clears throat> is that a bunch of birds? Or is that smoke or rocks? Woohoo! Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Hold on. Holy shit. Shit. Wow. What the hell are you? Nah, that's not good enough. Look, I'm pretty sure those are trees, but my god. Wow. It just keeps on going. Good. Lack of oxygen. Not bored. Not tired. Tis but a mere. Wow, I did a lot of tricks. Should have a fucking trick meter. Holy shit.
Oh, should I go down here? I'm gonna go down here. Ooh, glowy stuff. And music. Love both of those. Hey, no, just climb up. I don't like this. Oh my god. It's actually kind of beautiful. Is this where I give the chum eggs to? Upon seeing the frankly humongous chum holding the remains of an ancient stone tower, I nearly jump out of my skin. Before I collect myself, I hear a voice coming in my cooing in my head. Ah, hello, wanderer. Please don't be frightened. The giant chum cocks his head at me as it and it chirps. Is this real? I express my tentative disbelief for the scenario. I am talking to you as much as I am able to talk. Alright. And you're able to perceive my thoughts. But I assure you, I am as real as you are. I hear you are carrying some of my children. Mm -hmm. I can feel the eggs squirming in my satchel at their mention. I suddenly... I relax suddenly, comforted by the absurdity of the situ situation. Your name is old and vast, like the desert. The mouth, the mouth, I mouth the syllables as it chirps silently. My God, Sable. How beautiful. I don't have such a name. But I am the queen of chums. You may call me queen chum or chum queen as you prefer. I bow my head politely. It is an honor to meet you, queen. The queen seems surprised by my formality. Oh my, you're such a proper little human. Well, you being here feels very lucky indeed. Perhaps you could help us? Our eggs are scattered throughout the deserts, but they need to be planted somewhere safe. Bring them here, little one. I will be able to give you something for your favor. I'll be able to give you something for your favor. Okay. My answer comes without hesitation. A big yes. You're a kind little slug, aren't you? I think I'm going to like you, Sable. To start things off, bring me five eggs. Alright. How many do I have now? I have three. Alright. Wait, no, no, no. That's, that's not what I wanted to, to do. Can I open these doors or go through them? No. Probably she opens them. Oh my god. Wow, I fucking hate yawning. What is the point for it to exist? What is the reason it does? Like, what? what is this purpose? I've said this so many times. We have no reason to yawn. We probably have some great scientific reason to yawn. But... No. Fuck that. Fuck whatever reasoning is there. Oh, look at them fucking go. Look at them go. Off to those trees in the distance. Oh my god. Interesting that it's a whistle. I'm struggling to go forward and look at stuff. I keep holding D thinking that I have to press that to go in the direction oh you can actually just go away from your bike it does not teleport to you interesting what is this is this smoke what the fuck is that is that a ship I just wanted to confirm my theory if that was a Bex next to me it is not that would have been all the way down over here. This is like over here. What the fuck? I'm more intrigued by that. The giant fucking ship in the distance. Holy shit. But I'm going to go over to this little village here. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Alright. 
Let us explore now. Oh! Is the jail cell? It's a challenge not to view scrappers th through quite a romantic lens. As I looked toward my gliding as a child, I pictured myself as a dust-covered traveler exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through the sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of fantasy into my, into the reality of my work. Greetings, Glider. Name's Altian. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You find much scrap out there, Sable? Both kind of the same thing, but good, good. Alton leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you then if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of a gentle Im intimidation. But I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Alton seems to believe it enough. I need scrap, Sable. And lots of it. And you out there already doing basically nothing? Alton chuckles to himself. Shouldn't say, say it like that. Gliding is odd, eh? You have nothing to do, so you have everything to do. Wonder if anyone's ever spent a gliding just lying around. I would die. I told him that I'd probably wither away from gliding where, it, where anything so dull that my sun bleached skeleton would be found in a rock passed away from boredom. He snorts a laugh and I laugh too, and so he doesn't know about the shrieking half second I spend in terrified contemplation of mortality. Better not mention it. I'm just throw. Anyhow, the task, let's see if you can understand this one. Yeah, it's a bit complex. I tell him I'm ready. Go out, find scrap, bring it to me. Slightly taken aback, I ask Alton if that's all. What do you mean, is that all? That's scrapping. You want the job or not? I tell him I'm happy for any reason to explore and that I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Alton. Alright. Easy enough. Wait, that's a that's more stuff up there. Almost completely forgot about this stuff up here. Probably not gonna be able to make it up here, but you know, never hurts to try. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it up here. I'm not even gonna try. It does hurt to try, but in this case, it literally does not, because I don't take any type of fall damage. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, oh wow, they're so different. Narrow stalk fig, undoubtedly my favorite fruit. The first thing I would ask for when we pass traveling, when we pass traveling merchants with the abexi. What the fuck is that? Nomadic merchant Bobby, glider, welcome. Come view my wares. I like this. So we're going to get that. Can I sell anything? A skittish wary creature that survives cautiously in the shaded geo uh, rocks of the wash. They are quick to escape in soft sands, but their short mandibles are not suited to cutting harder materials. So they're not worth anything then. Oh god. Oh no. <gasps> okay, I'm done yawning. Or, mm, you know, let's just sell it. For creating tough, rigid clothing items or pieces of architecture, I can fucking do that. Till next time, my friend. See you soon. So, how do I do this? Do I just. How does one do? How do, how do you do do? Huh. 
How do I? Maybe I gotta find someone that can make a bike for me, like you. The machinist looks me over. You're late. Huh? You would have met me sooner if it weren't for your delay, but I forgive you. Any of Sizzle's is instantly beloved. Any friend of Sizzle's is instantly beloved, and I take no offense. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I hint of the shame as I remember times have been able been late among the Bexy things I have slipped up doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall I have no idea who this is who the strange machinist is, I asked them. My name was Hari. Of immediate revelance to you is that I am a friend of Sizzle. My nose I'm gonna sneeze. I asked then it's if Sizzle alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints on the oasis along my gliding and comforting thought. No no no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time three months ago and felt a shape and felt the shape of its voice, of her voice, sorry. I tell Atari that it was not some moon they heard, for si it was not some moon they heard, for Sizzle and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Did Sizzle tech teach you so little? The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them as I always have, and yours, I thought, would revisit me sooner, but here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come here. Our needs c converge atop the wind tower. Customized bike. Let's have a look, shall we? Hey. That looks kind of nice. Fucking goddamn Xbox achievement. Go away. Wait, hold up. Wait, it has actual stats? Oh, this thing fucking... This thing sucks. Waste my fucking money on it. Maybe the booster will be a bit better. I could just sell the other part, right? Right? Alright, you know, maybe not. Is there someone that I could buy clothes from? I like clothes. Oh, you look fucking badass. The guard before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty, uniform weathered by years. Hello there, young glider. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow, warm and welcoming. I grew here with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveler finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer, especially now. How are you faring so far? The world is big and I feel very small. You say that like it's a bad thing. It, isn't it a wonder the size of it all? That you can spend your whole life wandering and still find more to see? I think about the bought up fabric and smoothed out rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's, it's possible I'm romanti romanticizing in it a little. You see, I'm getting ready to leave for on my second gliding. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I'm an Ursian guard, or you see, I I was an Ursian guard. Ekrin. Ekrin. Ekrin guard. As of three days ago, I'm officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There is the laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd miss the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me that what what would I do now that my life's purse is gone? Can you imagine? I tried to. I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said thank you for all the strange condolences, but tomorrow's marked the first day in decades that I'll wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead, and I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I've loved my work. I even love the noise and the trouble of Ekria. But I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I asked where she'd like to go to. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see for yourself. You'll want the Northern Badlands. Southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep directions in my mind. And Elizabeth gives me a little tap. 
Maybe I'll see you up there. Oh, she's gone just like that. She's actually not. She's still there, but it's okay. No one I could buy clothes from. Maybe that little area up there. Wow. Is this place? The mask caster sits unmoving, silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. Wow, wow, the, the camera. I've heard about mask casters' stories about the gliding before. Gliders collect three batches and set and of a set and bring them to a caster for whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for some more batches. I leave the mask caster. All right. Well, where's the clothing caster? What is this? Ah, dusk firefly. No, because I can't find any clothing people. I'm gonna talk to you. If you're not it, then I'm gonna buy the rest of the stuff. Okay, I can't talk to you. Excuse me. What about you? Well met, glider. See you around. You you, you have nothing for me. All right, let's try the booster. Let's just buy everything. Um, oh, you have the little thing I sold you. Interesting. And I have exactly just enough, pretty much. Yes, 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 yes. Customize my bike. Okay. Oh, wait. This increases max speed. I mean, no, it just shows where max speed would be at. Yeah, this is definitely more powerful. This does not do shit. Can I fucking sell these? That was a waste of goddamn money. Why does that? Why does this even exist? How does it look? You know, it does look really cool though. Don't like how the legs keep moving. Kind of creepy, but. Oh, it brings up acceleration and handling while this one does not. Maybe I'll keep the front on. Okay, I guess these aren't doing anything anymore. This one brings down max speed. But not by much. All right, I guess this is gonna be my new bike. Wait, hold up. What else is there for you to talk about? Tell me more. Something I stopped the tire working at, uh, from the tire working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but you and Samoon came after all. Go there, mend with the with what is broken, or soothe what is hurt, and I will give what you what you seek. I ask the tire if they know what I seek. I admit that I might not. A direction. I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. Yes, I want a fucking thing. Alright, I guess that's where I head to. Wahoo! That is some dark dust, man. But, handling is much better. It's not fucking going all over the goddamn place. That sounded like it kind of hurted. Apparently something stopped the turbine, so I should be able to fix the tower by, by removing it. Alright. How the fuck am I going to get up there? Maybe the other side? Hopefully. Oh no, this is still further out. Shit. 
How the hell do you even get up there? Ah, that's how. The rocks on the side. Oh man. The world just keeps getting fucking bigger and bigger. Like Elizabeth was saying. And it's fucking amazing. Damn, where's this tower at? I don't see a tower anywhere. Unless that's it, all the way in the goddamn distance. Where are you? You don't have the tower from the Bex. It is. Alright, well, off we go. Yeah, that's definitely the tower over there. Really fucking far out. Matches my pants at least. Sounded like it was fucking raining, and I hated it. Give me chills, just right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? I don't remember... Bexy looking like that, but... Alright, I swear that was it over there. I guess not. Something else to check out. Wow. This is fucking far. This is really far. Okay. Fix the lighting. My, fla my face doesn't look like a fucking goddamn uh, crystal ball. Hopefully it's a little better. Let's try and see if we go up. Nah, I tried. Oh god. That looks terrifying over there. Not terrifying, but spoopy. And I like spoopy stuff. I would say she doesn't really have much of a jump. She just slows down quite a bit. More chum! I just need one more after you. other place, right? Yeah, most definitely. The hell was that that went down? Where are you? An invisible cactus. Got it. Is it part that I gotta fix? Find a nice place to sit and sit while on the way of the wind tower. I can see the eastern dunes from here. God damn, you can see a lot of shit from here. Really pretty. I'm gonna make that. Oh yeah, no, I was not making that. Oh man, can I make that? 
Whew. Close. That was definitely some link sounds right there. Is that a little bit more of a, a deepness to it? It's link noises. Be gone, birds! Woo! The wind tower. Wind chimes can apparently be a little spooky. I now see that. I don't know what's unsettling about this place. But it's slightly unsettling. And I don't really like it. Ah, shit. The fuck is that noise? Oh no. The hell is making that noise? It's not down here. No, don't climb up. There's gotta be some way to be able to get up top. This does not seem like that yet. Ah, I see. That might work. Oh, I thought that was a fucking bike flying past me in the sky. Would have been absolutely goddamn terrifying. There was a some. There's a much easier way to get up here. There's a fucking ladder there. That's oh, this. there. At least it looks like it. Oh, alright. Almost at it. Not really the way I wanted it to go, but you know, it looks like it could work. It fucking worked. Don't know how, but I got it. Where do I go from here? Oh, up. God damn, I'm high. That looks scary. Smoke in the distance. Woo! Sheesh. Alright. It's a little bit more higher. Hey! This is a spider egg. Close. Well, you have a very shitty throw, but it's okay. Where is that door at? I can't exactly remember right now. But we're gonna just jump all the way down in, in hopes of finding the door. This does not look familiar. But you know, I found a chest, so it's okay. Don't know how I got there. Oh, well, you know, uh, all right, that works. <gasps> hey, I was literally hoping for some fucking clothes. If only I had better bottoms to go with it. Like the the wires and shit all over. Is that fucking grenades on me? On my belt? Looks like grenades. But now we're gonna stick with this. Yeah. Ah, 
Now we go back to that guy. Tell him we did his uh his his stuff. And then we should be on our way. Where's my bike at? That's right, it should be down over here. God damn, I gotta go really far back. I gotta go past that tower over there. I was gonna see if I could take fall damage, but then she started sliding. Don't like the little legs crawling around. Kinda nasty. But it's okay. Okay, my god. We're finally back. Took only... I don't know how long. It took a long time. A very, very long time. To the point where I needed to take off my headset a bit. On one year so it can rest. I should probably put that back on. <coughs> Utari greets me warmly. How may I help you? Let me sit up. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Utari's delight is obvious, and I see it even in my approach. They radiate with energy. You did it! Thank you, and well done. Both of you. Did you have much trouble? Not at all. Of course not. And why would you? You were meant to do it. Now for your... I won't say reward now for what you're owed. Utari produces a machinist badge holding it for me its take. You may have been late in coming, but you are out of but here you are where you are meant to be. I give you this badge not only in recognition of where you have been, but what you have done, but in honor of one of our many possibilities. That you may, if you so choose, become one of us who speak the unheard language of Samoon and her vast connections. This badge is not but one, and you will need it to earn more from those from others who carry them, but if you but if and when you do, the caster will know, and he will have chosen the mask of the machinist. I thank Utari for it, and I tell him I have much to consider, but for a moment, I hear the paint is ringing in my left ear. I hear distant deep reverberate like the below sands. Listen. Is that a machinist mask? I want a machinist mask. Ma mask. And we're also going to change my uh, stuff back. Because, mm. Handling is nice and all, but I like speed. Speed is fucking key. Uh, equip. I'm pressing E. That's E. Holy shit, man. How do I... You know, that, that's... There we go. There we go. Ah, so much better. I missed you, Samoon. Let us go towards El Shippo now. Oh, wow. You know, I kind of miss the handling now. But that speed, man. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Look at her go. Oh, oh, Jesus. Ship is fucking massive. This is only the backside of it. Is there even an entrance that I can reach? Oh, yeah, there is right there. Probably find some scrap in here that other guy wanted. Altian, whatever his name was. Oh. Okay. The Dunboyne. Oh, God. I don't like that music. At least that really deep, deep stuff. Oh, wow. It's just... It's continuing to go. I don't really like it. Oh, wow. I'm just flying up. Okay. What is this? Scrap metal. Yeah, I, I, I figured as much. All right. Well, you know... Take two with the camera. That would be like take five million with the camera, actually. Take two with getting up here. My god. Do 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 do. 
Oh, you almost fell in there perfectly. Oh, wow. Don't kill me. That was a little scary. Just a little bit. Get yeeted! Oh, they didn't go that far. I was expecting it to go much further. What does it do? Does it open this door? Oh, it does. What's over here? Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. It's become a horror game. Really quickly. I see the little red thing up there. Okay, there's light. And now there's no light. Now there's light, light. There's more over there, too. Can I get past the fucking guardrail? The railing? And there, that's not where I want to put you. There you go. Wow, you're slow. I, you know, didn't think this through. I gotta get over there. Oh, jeez. You're really taking your time. Okay. It's a scary ass door. Now I can take this one and put it over there. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I wonder what's gonna be over here. I want another chest. I want more cool armor and clothes. I don't want to say armor because I'm. Yeah. Uh, I don't need armor to protect me from anything. I just want cool clothes. Or at least more to be able to choose from. Cortana? But the male version? The male Cortana? I encounter a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even have the chance to be frightened. New user found. Hello. Please enter your new username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it out loud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. Saren is his name. I asked the mysterious figure about themselves. I am the ship's simulated anthropomorphic red anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus, and you can call me Saren. S A R I N. I asked Saren what they are doing here. I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting to access ship records. Saren goes still for moments, transferring ship logs to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. The panel blinks to life strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient text spill across the screen as the background color fla colors flash wildly. And the strange buzzing like old fabrics pulling apart, there are voices. Within long-range sensors, Captain, we're picking up some anonymous readings from the upper atmosphere. Could a plasma storm, but the rad could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm. Maintain approach at current speed. What's our time to destination? Forty-six hours, give or take. Jesus. Good. Let's keep an eye on those energy signatures and get Saren on it too for the pattern recognition. Captain, we need to purge our reactor soon. If we don't, I know. I'm aware. I'm the risk, uh, Ellis. But I'm not purging in the middle of space. We follow protocol and the recording fails and static continues. A few button pushes begin bring silence in a screen that looks nav nav that in some way. But I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Goodbye. Interesting. I have a lot of quests that I've started, and I haven't done none of them other than the one for, um, Utari. Hey, scrap here. 
Hey, there's another one up here. Little chum egg. Don't know how you got all that in here. Come here, little buddy. Let's go back to your mama. Now, on the way, we can stop by the scrap guy and drop this stuff off. Right onto my bike. Alright. Where is their mama? Right over here. Burnt Oak Station. I guess we could stop by right over there. And then head to the chum layer. Right? That's where he was at. The Burnt Oak Station. What is this over here? Remove. That should be behind us. Uh, we'll find out soon. Just gotta get further away from here. Oh, oh no. God damn it. The dust sometimes looks like different types of uh, bikes from the distance. Okay, I'm going up this way. I need to go down like these. Alright. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, he's at the bottom. I forget he's at the same place as Tari he's at. I wish I could sell the fucking bike parts. I probably can. Just not to these people here. Because they have value. X fucking excuse me, what the hell? What type of shit was that? Oh wow! Oh jeez. Well, you know, I'll, I'll get I'll get it out of there soon. Hey, buddy. Looking a bit way down, Sable hopes hope it's scrap. Sell scrap metal. I, I fetch everything for him, handing it over piece by piece. I say goodbye to Alton. Well, he didn't really fucking give me shit, but I also probably only... I only had three pieces of scrap. I'm pretty sure if I had, like, 20, 30, it would have been a lot more. That was at 25, if I remember correctly. There we go. That strafing was... Came in handy. I gotta look for the tree again. Oh, shit. That's a wall. I'm sorry, Samoon. It sounded like a hurt. Just gotta get over this little hill. And I should be able to see it. Alright. Apparently not. It's a little bit more towards the left, apparently, down here. No, that's not it, right? That is it. That's it. I can see the pink on it. Here we come to deliver you to my, your mama. Here we go, not come. Is. Anyways, yes, we're going to over the wow, the queen. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Okay. All right. Here we are. Oh, come on, just climb. Do 
Chum Queen. Chum Queen, I have five of your kids. Queen asked me if I have eggs for her. Deliver eggs. You've been busy, so many of us together already. Excellent work, young Sable. The queen coos at me with her gentle vo while her gentle voice resonates in my head. Oh, how fortunate for you to have taken an interest in us. I found myself smiling at the mag compliment. You're a rare specimen in this age. What am I getting? That's here. Some queen tier. Oh, hell yeah. Well, now you've gotten me all emotional. Lucky for you, the tears of Chum carry great power, but I suggest you keep that, that information to yourself. I nod solemnly, sparing her any elaboration on her suggestion. The tear feels like a gift. I feel stronger and more resilient. Bring me 15 eggs next. God damn, you're asking for a lot. I feel like 10 would have been a the next one up, but you know, apparently fucking not. She just wants everything out of me. I mean, they are pretty simple to find. They stick out quite a bit. My god, I want to go over there. Everything just looks interesting. Everything. Where's my bike? Oh, there it is. narrow stock fig all right but that is going to do it for this episode of um sabal sable i hope you all enjoyed we explored quite a bit of the world we got some things out of the way such as being able to um mess with the bike being able to get new clothes and now we know where one of the the mask casters are so that whenever we get more of these little thingies i think no wait no Whenever we get more of these, I just need one more and I'll be able to get the machinist mask. Which I'm honestly quite interested in because it's a full head cover and that would honestly look great. As it should with the machinist clothing. The top that I have because I, I really like the little wires down the arms and everything. So that'll be really cool to get into. Um, I hope to find another village that has better fucking bike parts because those beetle shits were not it. It was trash. It sucked. And I also hope to find a village that I can buy clothing at. Because I have this stuff that apparently is good for clothing. For tough, rigid clothing and architecture. Which is interesting because I don't know if I'm going to be building a house later on. Or anything like that. So that's going to be all stuff that we're going to try and delve into into the next episode. But again, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And merete, kerete, arigato, sayonara, and goodbye.